A celebration is incomplete without them. They can show love, friendship, a warm welcome, a sweet goodbye. This gift of nature, although lasts for a moment, it carries with it emotions that last a lifetime. Memories enriched, love declared, sentiments empowered, joy celebrated through the undeniable beauty of a bloom. Before a flower is in full bloom, it travels a silent journey that is hidden from the eye. Shirohana, the story behind the flower. It all began in 1974 with a carnation clipping that was carried across the seas to Sri Lanka. Little did they realize this Japanese carnation clipping would revolutionize the horticulture industry on the island. It was the catalyst for the beginning of Shirohana. With a humble start, the first flowers were sold from the family kitchen and through many challenges, Shirohana strived forward, facing hurdles in communities with the climate and not to mention the civil unrest with the country at war. But through it all, our determination never wavered. Our commitment to cut flowers propelled us forward as we broke new ground, building new roads and setting firm foundations. Today, we have developed five farms with over 350 employees. With a commitment to the communities we work in, we have not only provided jobs and given our workers skills, we have seen lives and families change as they too strive forward. We see ourselves as a social business. Mangibaba <laughs> Aduh, Mama <laughs> All the work here is done by hand, from planting to harvesting. And you see in the background, uh, they are harvesting by hand. Uh, one by one, the flowers are carefully selected. With a constant goal of expanding the industry, we have sought out ideal locations where our flowers and leaves would grow. Sometimes these locations are in the middle of jungles without the facility of electricity or running water. However, these challenges never stopped us. We carved out new roads, leveled the earth on sides of mountains, painstakingly collected rainwater and strategically built near streams determined to give these buds a chance to bloom. Shirohana has a drive to really bring a lot of different flowers to the customer 
and um, that's why there's so many different so many different varieties that we have we are doing about like in chrysanthemum about 60 different varieties and to cater to any kind of color and any kind of function any kind of purpose to, to cater to that Working with the environment, we have done our utmost to preserve the nature that surrounds our farms, limiting the use of chemicals and working around the wildlife that inhabits the areas. our largest farm is in Nurelia. Originally located on Lake Gregory, this farm is now in the heart of the mountains in one of the highest elevations on the island. Here we produce thousands of flowers daily, preparing them for our local and international customers, with over 30% of our production being exported to the Japanese market. To do everything and to, to plan and to select the varieties, I, I think that requires a bit of skill, but harvesting, it's, it's doable. People can learn fast. And every cutting is a potential flower. And now we're going to put them uh, in the tray. And uh, this is a little bit of a rooting hormone. It helps the rooting process. It really stick in here. And we have to do this process uh, all the time because uh, we can't use the plants again. There are peak periods, like for Christmas, there's a peak period for the wedding seasons. For Mother's Day, there is a peak for Valentine's Day. And then also we adjust the colors because uh, for Valentine's Day, they don't want like yellow, they want red. And for Christmas, uh, it is red and green and white. And for the weddings, they want more white. And Mother's Day is more about pastel and pink varieties, purple varieties. So we adjust uh, the color palette as the season comes. All the chrysanthemums that we are growing are actually uh, uh, royalty protected. They are uh, bred in, in, in another country, in the Netherlands, and we bring them down here and 
Uh, we are licensed to grow these varieties. If you do that, you have access to the best varieties. You have access to the best colors, the newest colors, uh, disease-resistant uh, varieties. For every flower, you have to pay royalties back to them. And what we get back is that the mother plant material is really good. And the flowers uh, are very even and uh, we get a very high production out of it. When it comes to our final customers, we are committed to providing them with the very best flowers, with an internal quality that allows our flowers to last longer than the average flowers on the market. Whenever I have something happening at home or when I have guests coming, the first trip to the supermarket to buy my stuff and the second trip is to come to Shirohana's to get my flowers. They are very fresh, I don't know how. It lasts uh, for seven days. That's, you know, good value for your money. As such unusual flowers we have here, you know. She's giving me a beautiful bunch of spray uh, roses. You know, it gives the finishing touch. Aware of the seasonal limitations of the different flowers grown, we still offer a variety of selection, making our flower shops across the country the prime place to find the best cut flowers. We see a little bit of a shift going on to orchids and the new flower that we have is snapdragons. To not only have chrysanthemums, but to have all kinds of different flowers in bouquets. If you go to 50,000 or to 100,000 per week, then you need a good staff and you need a good material to, uh, to do all that. To bring that to a professional level, that, that requires a lot of commitment and a lot of work and a lot of trial and error. And sometimes we try something and it doesn't work. The climate has a lot of challenges. So we have to really work with that. From weddings to corporate functions, from home arrangements to gift bouquets, we are committed to providing the best, the freshest, the most beautiful flowers grown on the island. Shirohana, the story behind the flower.